my name. Can I open your seat in? Can you wait? 20 minutes. So I, I'm... Hello? Okay, so today is Monday, August the 8th, and we are on our week one OYM call. And um, just so for you guys that are not on live, please mark your calendars as this call will be every Monday at 6 p.m. Mountain Time. That's 5 Pacific and 7 uh, Central and 8 Eastern Time. So that way we all have it scheduled and that we can just make this a plan to be on this call every Monday. And we will keep them to 20 minutes because like I said, our time is valuable. Everyone's time is, we're all busy at this time. So we will keep them down and it's just more for questions and answers. And if you guys are struggling somewhere to kind of give you motivation, um, talk about the book that we are reading and, and go from there. So um, Veronica, do you want to say something? No, I still can't, we can't hear you. Is your phone? Not at all. I mean, is your computer? Are the is the microphone on? Okay. Well, I I'm, I will keep going. Just in essence of for for time. Um. Okay. So. Uh, most of you guys have been on, everybody on this call has already gotten your book. I know some of the Canadians are still trying to get their book in. Um, I actually got home, yay, to my home today, so I'm excited that I got the book in the mail that I had ordered a long time ago. Um, but I, I want to hear from you guys. What, what are some things that stuck out in the book most to you? I, I have some things highlighted um, that kind of stuck out to me, but I want to I wanna hear from you guys. So. Anybody want to try? I just got, I, my, the, I just got my book today, so oh. honestly, I haven't had a chance to even look at it. Awesome. Well, I'm glad you got it today. It's perfect timing. So, and it, you know what? You can probably sit down and read it in 10 minutes. So it's a very easy read. And I've actually, I read it when I first got it last week and then I just was starting to reread it again just to kind of highlight in my actual book and I'm already at page like 16. So it's an easy read. Um, Bonnie, did you, or Kathy, you were chiming in, did you, what, what sounds out most to you? I started reading it, this is Kathy, I started reading it and it is an easy read and lots of good points and then I just, I got, I was off the weekend so I got busy with other stuff and well, now I'm driving, so I can't reference it. But there's a lot of good points and just the different. It's very doable. It's very, like, user-friendly, the way she puts it out, pretty much. She's very motivating. Right. The way she puts the contact out. Mm -hmm. And, Bonnie, do you, have you, did you read the book, or have you read that chapter yet? I'm starting, I'm starting to read it. Can you awesome. hear me? Yes, I can hear you. Okay. Um, okay, so well, some things that stuck out for me, and Veronica, if you want to type them in the chat, maybe we can, that way we can talk to you that way until you figure it out, that way we can hear your comments. Um, but one thing that, well, several things that stuck out to me was that success didn't come easy for her. So it's funny because we look at, like us, let's say star directors, and, and you guys think, well, ah, oh, well, you know, you're a star director. Well, we all started out as essential consultants, every single one of us. And Sarah Robbins started out poor. She was paying bills with change. And, and that's pretty awesome to me. Um, and I like how she w related to verbal vomit, because if you if you have done verbal vomit, raise your hand. Oh, God, yes. Yeah. All of us have verbal vomited when we've talked about the business opportunity because we're so excited and then we get remotivated. And I, I mean, even like right now after convention, I'm just like, blah, blah, blah. and I have to stop myself and say, okay, take a step back because not everyone is quite as excited as you are. Um, but you know what though? And that same note is it's contagious too. So it, I guess it's an equal balance is don't verbal vomit, but yet show your enthusiasm. Um, something else that I liked is that she didn't want to give up and that was like her driving force was that she didn't want to lose that teaching job She didn't want to get up. She I mean give up She needed that extra money and then she was willing to learn and that's key here guys because you know what 
we are all learning still to this day. There, since he's changing left and right, and it's a learning process, but if we're all open and willing to learn and take challenges and willing to not give up and be committed, that was another thing is that she was committed. That was my highlighted. Um, and I thought it was funny because, and, and be honest, because we're it's just a small group of people here, but um, she said, I wanted to keep this a secret. Her mom was like, I want to keep this a secret because this is the best kept secret in the world. And, and I thought, well, that's kind of funny that she would think that, but you know what, going back, I think I felt the same way. It was like, Oh my gosh, I don't want to tell anybody about this because I, my sales are awesome. But then all of a sudden it was like, you can only sell so much product. But then she realized that the top leaders in this company um, are recruiting. They're building a team because that's really where it is. And, and for me in doing so and building the team, I find that, um, it, it's fun to bring someone on your journey. And, and I reference my mom all the time because God, it's been so much fun having her. And even there with this past month and a half, we've been there. Um, we worked on so many fun little projects together and, and she's very scared, and I think it's fun to watch her grow in that. But it's bring someone on a journey with you, and, and it's not something you want to, like, keep in. It's something you want to help bless other people's lives. And if we can change our mindset to sharing and not feeling like we're bothering and not keeping it to ourselves, then really, because if somebody never brought the opportunity to me, I mean, we wouldn't be here right now. We wouldn't be talking and, about the opportunity that we all have. Um, so those are some things, and Veronica says that I do like the book. It's a very easy read, and it's not too long. And that's the thing. We're not here to read a long book. You know, I find that when I read books, um, it, it's very motivating, um, and and it's very helpful to to stay motivated because I there's a saying that I look back to always is that um, uh, I forgot how the, how it goes, but something about taking a bath and motivation that. You know, we have to take it back daily because we are always dirty and we're, we need to read the bath. And the same thing with, with motivating ourselves is that we have to do it daily because we forget and we get unmotivated and life happens and then we get tend to get unmotivated. So um, how about some challenges? What are your guys, what was the worst challenge for you this week? I thought it was going to be making the video, but that wasn't bad. Um, this is Kathy. I, right now, it's, right now, I have to find the balance because work is very busy. My hours are crazy. Um, I just, I, I'm, I have to find the balance. Like, I did work on my Fenty this weekend. I tried to be productive with it, but I really wish I could have been more productive. So, well, I'm just, I, I'm, one thing you know, that trying to... One thing that I liked about you, Kathy, I'm going to point out is that you kind of motivated a lot of people on the page because you were tired, you had a frustrating day, things didn't go as you had hoped, and most people, me included, would have given up, but you decided, nope, I've made a commitment, and I, this, I want to do this, and so thank you for sharing that, and, they, and that's exactly what we all need to do is push forward. And that's the thing. I think if I can keep doing that, like, I thought the video, I was like, there ain't no freaking way I'm doing no damn video because I don't do pictures <laughs> and I don't do videos. But yeah. it, it really wasn't good. It, it, was, it was actually kind of fun, you know? So I'm like, hey, maybe I will do more videos. It, but it um, I, just, I just have to find the balance because it's just it's a little crazy right now and that's going to be my biggest struggle. But, you know, I'm... Just, I'm starting to book parties, and it's just, you know, like, with my opportunity packets, so that's kind of going to be a thing for me, because, like, at work, I have to be careful, but I'm carrying with them, them with me, I carried, you know, like, two with me today, and, I mean, I didn't have any opportunities arise, but I'm just, you know, just keep on trucking, just keep on trucking. Well, and the, there, I posted something, so if you're feeling the same way about trying to balance, um, I'm also doing another group called Leap to Lead, and um, and and some what of your, it? it's called Leap to Lead, and so some of your team members might I, actually be in that program, but it's um, to help essential and certified consultants get to lead. So we're also working on that. 
Um, and one thing I well tried to post today, I was having some video issues with traveling, but um, is balance. And so I don't want to waste the time talking about it here. But if you guys are struggling with balance, reach out to us. Reach out to your director, okay. your directors, and um, we can work with you one on one because I. It's going to be hard. It's going to be more of a time management and see things where you can cut and see how you can work things more efficiently. But um, I've done a lot of research in the last few weeks about how to cut and how to make your life flow easier. And um, so let's talk about that later because I, that's something that you've always struggled with, I know, and I want to help you in that. So. Um, okay. Now, Eva, what, do you, what, was the, what was the hardest thing for you this past week? Well, I kind of agree with Kathy. I'm the same way. I might go a week, two, a week and a half and do nothing. And then all of a sudden, you know, in the next two or three days, boom, boom, boom. I run into people. I got my packages ready. I go to the, I go everything mail. So it kind of does come in spurts. And because like uh, the rest of us, we do all, many of us have the full-time jobs that we got to deal with and kids and whatnot. And so I kind of do it. Um, I, I work it in my spare time, mm -hmm. and and that's that's how it works for me. Um, and so this past week I was busy with family, but then yesterday I was able to submit a very good order. I went and did my I mailed all my samples. So I kind of that's I kind of agree with her. I go that's how I work it. And, and that's and, great though because is that this is the thing is that it works for you and you're able to customize it for yourself. And and I love that about this business and. Um, what works for me and my schedule doesn't necessarily work for for you um, and again it's all about it's all about there's never a balance this one thing that I just talked about today is that it's sometimes your job is going to take more precedence sometimes your family's going to take more precedence and sometimes Sensi's going to take more precedence it just depends on the t day of the week what else is going on and and that's perfectly fine as long as you're allotting enough time to be able to sustain your business and then the days that like you said it, orders start coming in and you're able to pass stuff out and that that's perfect you know even if you could just find 10 minutes a day 15 minutes maybe but consistently 10 minutes be i'm um, while you're driving or whatever maybe will help right. you um to to stay consistent um so i don't know if you guys are seeing veronica's comments but she said about the book it says i think sharing this with someone you work well with and enjoy the company will make things easier for you um, you look forward to doing the things we usually put on the back burner, like making samples and making packets. It becomes fun again. And then mm -hmm. she's uh, directed to you, Eva. She says, um, you doubt yourself way too much and that you need to give yourself more credit. Um, your sales are amazing and that's the best thing about your business. So share that with other people and you're able to, you, I, like she said, apparently you, you multitask very well and you do it, you know, you make it work. So that's great. Thank you. Thank yeah. You. yeah. Um, was the video challenge, was that hard for you? Absolutely. And you guys did amazing. Your video was really good too. Thank so you. I was really proud of all you guys. Um, and Bonnie, what was your uh, biggest struggle this week? My biggest challenge was the video. The video. Yes, yep. stepping out of my comfort zone to make <laughs> that video, that was like, wow. Yeah. <laughs> but you did it. Yes, I did. And will you do it again? Yes, I will. Okay, good. So I noticed that a lot of you guys were struggling with, well, what do I do a video on? It's like anything that comes to your mind. Um, and I'm going to excuse myself because I want to share something that I worked on this past month that has nothing to do with this, but it could help you with knowing to what to do with your videos later. Um, I did a lot of research on a lot of different sites, and uh, one tool that I found was really, really awesome was the Sensi blog. Um, they have so many, so much information. So you know what? My next video is probably going to be on um, – anosmia and the olfactive fatigue because it's something that we hear within our teams even you guys are um, say you know the scents don't last as long and they're not as strong and there's reasons for that and so I think it's important for our customers to know and our team to know so I found a bunch of information on the blog I'll show you guys right now the little packet that I've been working on but um, so but I'm proud of you for doing the video good job um, who else joined us who else is on there that I can't see me. Who's me? Where are Denise. you? Okay. Oh, Hi. I have another arrow over here. Hi, Denise. <laughs> oh, 
I'm in my car. <laughs> okay. Hi, Denise, in your car. Um, so we're just talking a little bit about what your main struggle was. This, what, what did you have the hardest time with? Um, doing the challenges. <laughs> All of them? Yes, I haven't. I'm like meaning to catch up, but I haven't done any of the challenges. Okay. As, I mean, like, as far as talking to people, yes, and all that, but not, like, officially, like, with the packet and all that, no. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So is that something you think you're going to be able to schedule in? Sounds like you have a baby there in your hands. I do. I have yeah. to. <laughs> it's hard, right? It's hard to find that time when they're, I, I mean, it, it's really, really hard. But I, I, you can definitely do it. Maybe you just find times with napping. I, I, you joined in just a little bit ago, but I was telling the girls here that um, I've been doing a lot of like researching and just different stuff on time management. And one of the girls whose blog I watched, or it was a vlog, whatever they're called, is was on um, on um, babies and how like to adjust the time and how you can like fit the, be creative with your time. So be happy to help you and share with what I learned on that. Um, Cause I know that we all have different walks of life, right? I mean, you've got little ones, I've got kind of bigger ones, but I also homeschool. So they never leave. Um, and then, you know, I, but I don't work out of the home. So I mean, we all have different things that bog down our time. So maybe that's what we should do is maybe we should do a video together so that we, you guys can get all these different ideas so that seems like that's hard. The, the majority seem to be having the hardest time finding the balance. Does that seem right? Yes. Yeah. Okay. Well, now I know where to go forward with this. So um, is this something that you think you can, you can uh, do? Did you do your video, Denise? You didn't, right? I didn't do a video. Okay. I want you to do a video. Like, I, if you do nothing else right now, I want you to do a video. And it could be something simple. 30 seconds. You can find time. 30 seconds. Yes, I can. I know you will. Right? Yes. Even if you have the baby. Because then that just, you know, they're cute. And just do it with the baby. It's fun. So, yeah, you can totally do the video. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to hold you to that. I want you to do your video. Um, who else joined us? Nobody? I thought I saw some another caller. But I guess not. All right. Um... Oh, Veronica says do it today. And she said hold your baby. See? So I'm not the only one. All yes, right. I will. I'll do it. I All will right. do it today. <laughs> oh, Paula I'm, made it. I'm, um, I'm sorry. Just a second. Girls, close the door. Take the water over there and close the door. Hurry up. I'm in my car at my daughter's cheer practice. Oh. But <laughs> I do, I do have a... Scentsy lotion, and I will do the video on that. Okay. Yay. I'm excited. We can't wait. Don't forget to post it so we can all see it. Um, hi, Paula. Do you oh, my goodness. This is like I'm sweating over here. I'm so sorry. I am just like the Zoom wouldn't load for me until now that I'm able to upload it again. It was there. I spoke last week. I don't know where it went. I'm That's sorry. No, it's okay. And Veronica's having speech issues because we can't hear her. So she's typing. She's a mute today. <laughs> oh, well, yes. So I'll let you take the floor. We were actually just winding down. We just kind of talked about um, everyone's struggle um, this week. And we talked about some things that we liked from the book. Um, so if you want to share or if you have anything else to share, go for it. Well, I'm really not so sure what we have talk about so far uh, for you guys. So I'm so sorry. I'm kind of feeling a little bit lost over here, but I know that um, uh, like in every single one of the postings that you have made will definitely like are things that are necessary for us to move the business forward and are is very easy steps, but we don't take the time to do them. And if we don't take the time to do them, then that's where we run into trouble, right? The days will pass by and we are not, we're not getting on our business, right? So even if it is, um, like 15 minutes or 20 minutes of whatever you are like our daily thing or weekly thing we really need to focus on doing that so that we can move forward and see the reap the results of this of this group right because if we're not we are not doing the the everyday things and the weekly thing then definitely we're not going to be able to see any of the of the results I know I really don't know if my girls are in but I know that uh, we have like a little chat group with them and I know that two or three of them are completely pumped about 
our group. Like they are so excited about all of the, um, they're seeing results. They're, they're posting, uh, like they're uh, sharing with me their, whatever they're doing every single day and, and it's working for them. So I, I know that for my girls that are in the, in the group, it is working um, for them, right? So whoever, if we have anybody else in the call that is not working it uh, and are kind of feeling like they're left behind, you can you can pick it up today. Like you can you can start fresh today and and start working on it, right? And and play catch up with the book and and get it all done. So uh, for us Canadians, we're just getting the books today. I think one of my girls got it on Friday, and and then the rest should be getting it. Uh, like we were gonna get it today. So uh, mine had not arrived yet uh, when I was out of the house, and I haven't come back uh, yet. But I'm I'm excited. I need to catch up to the first per, um, chapter, and then I'll. Be, I'll be on it with with you guys awesome yes so and that's true exactly what she said you know what it's never it's not too late but the further and further we get behind the harder it is and that's what happens in our business is that we say oh we'll do it tomorrow oh we'll do it tomorrow and then tomorrow never comes and then tomorrow's busier and then you know um, one thing I suggest is every single day is make a list Make a list of things that you have to do, even if it's just your challenge. And they shouldn't take you very long. 10, 15 minutes, really, it's really all we're asking. Um, and so make a list and, and get it done early in the morning before life happens. Because that, if you just make it a routine every single day, it's going gonna, it's gonna to happen. Um, so Veronica said, that's a great idea. Let today be your catch-up day. Absolutely. So. Um, does anyone have anything else to add? We're already in 30 minutes, so I want to kind of wind it down. Um, I, I really appreciate, and I know Veronica, I'm going to speak for her because she's not, she's mute today. Um, but I, and I know Paolo is going to say the same thing, but I, I'm really proud of all of you guys. And, and we, I've seen you guys do some amazing things this week and break through barriers that you never thought you were going to have to do. And, and it's still hard and it's still going to be hard. But the thing is, is you have to keep pushing and remember to not give up. And I want to see those dream boards. So um, remember we had asked you guys to do your vision board and that's going to be your motivation. I, we, me and Veronica and Paula, we can sit here and we can talk and we can try to motivate you. But whatever that vision is that you have, whatever that why is, that is going to be your driving force. That's going to be what's going to keep you going on the days that's hard, on the days where you're busy and you can't, you want to just sit down and do nothing. That is what's going to keep you going. And I want you guys to have it up on your, um, on your walls, in your office, on your computer, whatever. Some of you guys get them digitally. Um, but it's really important that you are always focused and don't give up because we can't give up. This is our business. This has the potential to change our lives. And we cannot give up. We cannot have excuses. So um, that's all I have to say. For me, I, I just always go back to... Um, there is so many people that have made it and, and big and, and I'm thinking, okay, they are not like, if they did it, I can do it. There is absolutely nothing that they, a degree or whatever that you need for, to be able to, to move your sense of business. Uh, we are all kind of, uh, it's just work. It's just work and, and hard work. Right. And if we're willing to put it, uh, to put it in, then we will, we will be able to grow just like anybody else and, and see the reap the rewards just like anybody else. So I really hope that everybody, um, has that desire and, and believes in themselves because if somebody has done it, then we all can, we all can do it, right? Right, absolutely. And Veronica had a really good point. And she says, remember, as leaders, your downline and your team is watching you. So we have to set the example. And that's so very, very true. Um, so all of you guys are here because you have already proven to be leaders. And so we have to set the precedent. So very good. All right. So I think that we are going to be done for the day. And then remember to please put it in your calendar for next week, 6 o'clock Mountain Time, uh, 7 Central, eight eastern i don't think we have pacific but it's five pacific um and we look forward to chatting with you and please help to spread the word and encourage the rest of the girls to get on the the call so thank you guys i hope you have a wonderful evening and thanks for taking the time okay thank you so much ladies bye-bye bye-bye veronica. veronica oh they're calling you have a great evening <laughs> <laughs> okay bye guys bye-bye